a fellow named Scott McQuaid, who has a book called Blueprint for Bondage, claims in a video that you can find online that the woman in Revelation 12, who was clothed with the sun, unlawfully took the seed from the red dragon. And he says the red dragon was Nibiru, which some people call Planet X. And on his video, he has written, quote, And from the seed she produced a diviner who was to rule the earth with a rod of iron. Revelation 12.5, diviner equals the serpent, Sarah Penta of Genesis 3.1. But if we read Revelation 2:26 to 28 about the one who rules with the rod of iron, it says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father, and I will give him the morning star. You see, Scott, the bookseller, got gender confused with Lucifer, who he thinks is a woman, and also got the son of the morning confused with the morning star that I just mentioned. Isaiah 14, 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? And Scott goes on to say that this one who rules over us with a rod of iron is Jesus' evil twin brother and refers to Genesis 12 in his video in regard to this. But then he has written on his video, quote, The rod of iron shall not pass from Judah until Shiloh comes. Shai plus Lu Dividing of the sheep in Sumerian, Genesis 49.10. But I'll read what Genesis 49.10 actually says in the King James Bible. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. You see, Judah gave his staff, not rod, of iron to Tamar, his daughter-in-law, in exchange for happy time, because she was a whore and a prostitute who spawned the line of King David of Judah, as I have mentioned before. Genesis 38 Verses 15 to 18. When Judah saw her, he thought her to be a harlot, because she had covered her face. And he turned unto her by the way and said, Go to, I pray thee, let me come in unto thee. For he knew not that she was his daughter-in-law. And she said, What wilt thou give me, that thou mayest come in unto me? And he said, I will send thee a kid from the flock. And she said, Wilt thou give me a pledge till thou send it? And he said, What pledge shall I give thee? And she said, Thy signet and thy bracelets and thy staff that is in thine hand. And he gave it her and came in unto her, and she conceived by him. And Jacob, who said, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, was ungodly. According to the New Testament, which tells us, the deliverer shall come out of Sion and turn ungodliness away from Jacob. Now, the real Christ was born into sinful flesh, that he might destroy sin in the flesh. He is the spiritual root of David and the generational offspring of David, which David, 
did the will of Satan. Just like Scott McQuaid does for Antichrist book sales. First Chronicles 21.1 And Satan stood up and provoked David to number Israel. Jacob Israel. And David had happy time with Uriah's wife, who bare him Solomon. And Solomon numbered all the strangers that were in the land of Israel after the numbering wherewith David his father had numbered them. For Satan. 1 Kings 11.7 then did Solomon build an high place for Chamosh, the abomination of Moab in the hill that is before Jerusalem, and for Molech, the abomination of the children of Ammon. Acts 7, 43-53 Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch, and the star of your god Remphan, figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. Our fathers had the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness, as he had appointed, speaking unto Moses, that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen, which also our fathers that came after brought in with Jesus unto the possession of the Gentiles, whom God drove out before the face of our fathers unto the days of David, who found favor before God, and desired to find a tabernacle for the God of Jacob. But Solomon built him an house. Howbeit the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet, Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, saith the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? Hath not my hand made all these things? Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost, as your fathers did, so do ye. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which showed before the coming of the just one, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers, who have received the law by the disposition of angels, and have not kept it. So Scott has some sort of double-minded duality of opposites conflict thing going on in his corrupt mind. He seems to think that uh, that there was a, a red and a blue dragon that was conceived and seems to think, from what I can tell, that uh, Christ is the red dragon. Uh, whatever. And... He definitely uses divination to sell his books because he's a meat puppet for devils. Deuteronomy 18, verses 9 to 14. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you any one that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. For these nations which thou shalt possess hearkened unto observers of times and unto diviners. But as for thee, the Lord thy God hath not suffered thee so to do. Scott is a damned idolater selling obvious lies in his book which I just touched on. There's so much more that could be gone over. Revelation 20, verses 12 to 15. And I saw the dead, 
small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man, according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. People who are not first dead in Christ receive to themselves the second death. You can't serve God and mammon. Thank you.